about um, the fact that we live in separate realities. So I've talked about reality a lot. So here's me with my movie production system that I am experiencing the world through. It's creating my thought and it's creating my experience in this moment. Now you're all doing that too. So there's, there's 50 experiences and realities being created right now. And we all live in entirely separate realities based upon the thought that's being created in, in our head. We all think we're experiencing the same reality. We all think we're you know, in the same room, but actually this room is being created by each of us right now and our experience of it. So um, let me just give you my little example here. Put these um, five characters in one room. So we've got someone from a Maasai tribesman. We've got um, good old Donald. Um, we've got a blind man. We've got a, a teenager, looks a bit like my 14-year-old my son. And, and we've got a cat. So we put them all in a room. And they would experience, whatever we were doing in that room, they would experience it entirely differently. Um, based upon a number of factors. Based upon, first of all, their biology. So the cat, or the dog, or the bat, or the, can pick up data that, um, that the humans here can't. So I, I might be sat there at night with my cat, and the cat's freaking out because it thinks it can, it can hear something that I haven't noticed at all, and I'm sat there chilling out, enjoying myself, and actually the cat's freaking out, worried. So, um, and, and the blind man is another example of this, or someone that's colorblind or, or whatever is, so the, the blind man here has, has access to different data based upon his, what, what his biology can pick up. Now he's having an experience based upon the thinking that's going on based upon what he's receiving in, but his experience of the reality will be entirely different to, to the others. So biology plays a part, but, but who's having the real experience? Well, well, they all are. They're all having their own experience that's totally unique to them. So what's, what's useful to know about this? So let, let me... Uh, let me just see if there's any other points I wanted to make this. Because what we tend to do is we tend to judge other people. We tend to say, well, well they're an idiot. They don't see it. Uh, they don't get it. Yeah? It's very easy for me with my son to say, well, yeah, uh, uh, why doesn't he understand that he needs to do his homework on a Saturday morning and not a, a Sunday evening? Why does he need to be on the Xbox all the time and this or that? How on earth can he have his whole life experience through the Xbox talking to his mate and not going out and playing in the garden. Well, that's just separate realities at play because he's grown up with a whole bunch of different thought, having a different experience of life with totally different to the thinking that, that I grew up with and, and have evolved into. So the more we understand that people are having totally different realities, the more that we can be less righteous about our own reality and more open to exploring those realities of others.